On the roads, women are safer than men. That's according to the latest New York City pedestrian safety report released earlier this month. The report found that 80% of crashes that killed or seriously injured pedestrians involved male drivers. So, is the situation the same here? Who do Singaporeans think are better drivers on the road, men or women? I would say male. Why male? Why male? Um, I think they are more street smart. So, for female, tends to be over careful. So, once you are over careful, you are not decisive enough. Yeah. So I say male. <laughs> Though I'm a driver myself. Um, male is a better better driver, I guess. Why? Why male? I guess um, actually, actually, women are quite good as well. Like, they're able to multitask, well, isn't it? Fair share, lah, huh? To each zone, I guess. I think it's the same. The same? Why yeah. the same? Um, uh, I think it really depends on like how long whether like the guys or the girls have been driving. So based on experience, yeah. I think probably guys after all. I don't know. I feel like girls sometimes they are a bit too careful. To yeah, a bit kind of slow and all. I think it's the guys because they are born to drive. While it seems the <clears throat> man on the street says that men are better drivers, he agrees that women are indeed the safer ones on the road. We ladies tend to be a little more, bit more safer. Families, you know, yeah. So it's like kind of like a motherly instinct. Yeah. So I'm um, girls, women. Yeah. I think girls are more careful, like nature. Yeah. I think we go down to personality and and character as well, guys. Um, not all, I would say. Um, to be fair, I mean, like, yeah, but majority of the girls that I met as the drivers are, yeah. So why do male drivers fail on the issue of road safety? The New York report states that social scientists and traffic safety experts blame the male propensity for aggression and risk taking fueled by testosterone. I think male hormones at work, so it tends to be more. Um, I would say reckless, not exactly reckless, but they they are impatient. I would say, yeah. Maybe a bit of um, ego boost when they're driving behind the wheels. Yeah, just cut to my lane without signaling, and people tailgating me, and cut out and cut in again. Or uh, maybe because I'm a, a lousy driver again. Fierce. Why? Why? I don't know. It's like you've seen a like keep like honking at you and all, just because you're a bit slow. Yeah. yeah so that you think they're more aggressive. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> what were experiences? Uh, I had people calling, uh, pointing middle fingers at me and uh, shouting. Yeah, yeah. Most of the uncles are. <laughs> While men may be more prone to risk-taking behavior on the road, no thanks to their biological profile, they may not necessarily cause more accidents here. Statistics from the Singapore Police Force show a drop in fatality rates over the last five years. When asked. The Singapore Police Force said it did not have a statistical breakdown for accidents by gender. Next, find out some nasty personal experiences Singaporeans have faced with male drivers on the road. <laughs>